Just three days ago, FEMA ended the program that provided temporary housing for thousands of people left homeless by the hurricane that devastated Puerto Rico. Hurricane Maria slammed into the island nine months ago with 155 mile per hour winds. Well, tonight, Channel 3's Nick Austin says the Tennessee Valley Authority played a role in restoring the electricity. Nick joins us now live in the studio with more Nick. Latrice, David, I spoke with one of five TVA team members who spent several weeks repairing power lines in Puerto Rico. They worked separately on different parts of the island to get lights back on as quickly as possible and made new friends along the way. Last September, Hurricane Maria devastated Puerto Rico. When TVA engineer Jeff Phillips arrived four months later to help, almost half the island still had no electricity. No matter which way you looked, there was damage. There were trees still down. You could tell no vegetation still on a lot of the trees where it had ripped all the limbs and stuff off. And obviously there were power lines and poles down literally all over the island. Many of the downed power lines had been covered by plant overgrowth. And a lot of times it was up to me to kind of help them reroute the line along a road or maybe put in different new structures, something along that lines. Phillips prepared for the job by learning the lay of the land and researching the local power system. He was also fortunate to have found someone to help him overcome the language barrier. Phillips says the highlight of the mission was helping the Lopez family, whose 18-year-old son Javier has been on life support and bedridden for a long time. They had been living off of generators for five months at that time and had basically used all their money and resources trying to keep their son alive. So. Once we found that, it became an immediate priority. This is the family cheering when their electricity came back on. It's the personal connections that Philip says he'll never forget. Being away from his family for 45 days was difficult, but worth the satisfaction of helping others. I'd go do it again in a heartbeat. I'm glad that I got to go serve the people of the Puerto Rico and use the knowledge and experience that I had here at TVA. Phillips and the other team members worked 18 hours a day, seven days a week. Phillips still keeps in touch with the Lopez family. Javier turns 19 today. Live in the studio, I'm meteorologist Nick Austin, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.